Hey everybody, just wanted to talk a little about why I think this uh, goofy little accessory that Fat Shark used to make is a good answer for um, box goggles these days. There just aren't any good uh, box goggles around. Everybody's kind of been obsessed with these kind. They're, they look cool. You can put them up on your head, but they're not all perfect. A, they're crazy freaking expensive lately and um it's hard at least for me to get everything in focus you have like vignetting around the edges and can't see the whole thing at once it just got to have everything perfectly in your face to see well and the field of view is often pretty low um box goggles are have a pretty awesome field of view. They're easier to focus on. You can wear your glasses in them. So I think that leaves a good opportunity to make your own. So this has some really nice optics. It uses this um, mirror system to let you put the screen on top, which kind of keeps it smaller than older box goggle form factors were and um, just lets it focus really nice. I've already taken one and made it into my favorite analog goggles. I took a screen out of some ancient box goggles that I used to have and 3D printed this enclosure for it. It's got a, like, um, you know, rapid fire style uh, module in here. Mine's a cheaper version. Uh, battery indicator, yard diversity, and just made a little three printed case to sit on top. And I love them. The field of view is supposedly around 55 degrees, just huge. It's really easy to see. Um, when these came originally, you couldn't really get your gog your glasses inside of them. Um, Let's see, try and move things in here. But, ah, there we go. This little area in here, I found if you just dremel out a couple of those fins and slit this uh, foam here, that uh, all of a sudden it becomes really easy to get glasses in here. So on my new ones, I haven't, haven't done that yet. So you can see this is just solid. So just mark off a couple of these fins and then cut them back through. And there's a slight problem of some light leakage then that opens up on here. These vents uh, were in there originally, but they don't, um, there isn't, it wasn't ever any fan or anything to push air through them. So they're kind of useless. So I, I had just electrical taped over them and I never really have any significant fogging problems or anything. Um, but yeah, I don't, if I, I don't know if I ever said what these are, this is the fat shark transformer. It went with the original shark bite screen um, and I think some other analog screens and even uh, there was even a stereoscopic version that Fat Shark made. But you can still find these just shells. Uh, they do come with a headband and everything for like 20 bucks online. So I think it's just a, a great foundation. Like I said, I had done my analog one, but this time I'm trying to make something compatible with uh, walks now that gives me a 1080p picture. My other goggles I had were limited to 720, and they're not great for other reasons. So I got this uh, 1080p OLED screen off of AliExpress. I've already added, put it on a uh, 3D printed plate here to kind of stiffen it up. Um, but yeah, the package comes with just this really thin bare screen and the adapter board. You have to be careful because some of them want to play in portrait mode and you need one that wants to default to landscape in order for our usual VRXs and visual systems to show up. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. This will fold up and... 
sit on top of here, partially through engineering a box to go on here. It'll sit there, something like that. But I'm 3D printing the top now. You may want to print what I've made, or else if you want to go looking for your own cool screens and stuff, that this just opens up a lot of possibility if you have a uh, an itch to build your own things. <laughs> and we really need it, because there just aren't any good box goggles anymore. It's a lost art. Here's the finished product. Got our receiver. I opted to put it on top to get the weight a little bit closer to the head, so it'd be a little bit less of a lever arm. Um, and it also, this way, instead of putting it on the front of the goggles, it supports 
pulling off the unit to use it as a uh, standalone screen. If you hold the, uh, flip the antennas up like that. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The um, OLED screen looks fantastic. The color accuracy is way better than those other goggles I used to be using. Um, it's super easy to focus on the screen. I could see the whole thing and it's super immersive with like a 55 degree field of view. I really like them. I'll put the uh, files up online and link them below if you want to print something else out like this for yourself. Um, again, like the end of 2023 going into 2024 uh, was all I could find for a good looking uh, box goggle alternative. All right. Thanks for watching.